Okay, today we're gonna learn how to Trojan, so let's go to www.warlords.net forums. Scroll down to Warlord database downloads. Pick Trojaners. Well, you can get any one of these Trojaners. They all work pretty much the same, but I'm gonna pick Bifrost and just gonna download it. But you see, your AV is gonna pick it up as a Trojan, so just pause the protection and um, just cancel that because if you try to save it, it'll come out corrupt. So we gotta start over again right there. Save it to disk. Close that. Minimize. Let's open it up. Extract it. Go over there and there it is. So go to settings. Well, if you have a password and you need the correct port there, so use the password and the port for the builder. So just put whatever you want for the password and the port. Um, if you have a router, try to use a port that you know is open because almost all the ports and router connections are closed. So, but if you don't have a router, just don't really worry about it. Just try to get the HTT port, which is 80, so you can use that too. But make sure it's right there, the password, the blah 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 right there. So I already have it. And basically, what you do is. put your IP there, the port there, the my pass there, add it. So I already did that, but that's just an example. I have mine added right there. And you can delete it. So yeah, just have that there. Installation, the server exe. Install to the system directory. Don't install in the program file directory. That is one of the first places it'll get picked up because of the antivirus. And um, have it this auto start will reload the ana the virus in case the user restarts so it's something always good to have and um the registry keys all there you can use the offline key logger too go stealth mode whatever you want visible if you are looking for a remote desktop connection but we're gonna go cautious melt the server if it isn't checked off hide the process if you want to don't worry about the miscellaneous whatever and um let's build it close that it'll save right here so right there's the server and um once you send that file to a person and they execute it it'll show up on this list so if you get a few people each of them will show up as different computers right here so you can just click them and go crazy on them. Everything else is just common sense. But one thing I, I have to tell you is that um, this Trojaner doesn't bind with other files. So if you want it to look more of a, like a program, Shark Trojaner can bind files. And I don't know about Poison Ivy. I haven't tried out. But um, these Trojaners are outdated. They're just for practice purposes. Real Trojaners that are hard to detect. They're really, really hard to find. Or they're private. So. That's all there is.